If you've had a car accident and you're not sure what to do, you're not alone. Hi, I'm Jim Kirschbaum with Kirschbaum Injury Law here in suburban Minneapolis. A car accident can be an interruption of your entire life, and the whole insurance claim process can be quite confusing. Today, I want to speak with you about a part of that process so you can maximize your property damage and not let the insurance company profit at your expense. First, you must call the responsible auto insurance company and set up a claim. That's the insurance company for the driver that caused the crash. They'll assign you a claim number. They'll also assign an adjuster to your claim. Make sure you write down these things. You're going to need them for any correspondence with the insurance adjuster from here on out. Always put your claim number on everything. Then you need to, through the adjuster, schedule an inspection of your vehicle through a field adjuster, and they're going to determine whether or not your car should be repaired or what they call totaled. If it's going to be repaired, then you need to make sure your car is fixed to your satisfaction the way it was before it went to the shop without any leaks or squeaks. Keep in mind that you have a right to pick any shop you choose to do the repair work, not necessarily one that the insurance chooses. Now, if your car is going to be totaled, then this video is really for you. Now, let's talk about if your car has been totaled. Before you just accept whatever offer the insurance company is going to make, do your research. I ask all my clients to make sure they check out www.kbb.com. That's Kelly Blue Book. We can put in all of the make, model, features of your car and determine what a private party value would be for your car. Another really smart thing to do is go to www.usedcars.com or a similar website. You can find cars that are for sale right now with the same make, model, similar mileage, and things of that nature to get a good value of what a car should be. You want to print all these things and fax or email them to the adjuster to help you with the argument for higher car value. Another thing you should do is always ask the adjuster for an accounting of what they're actually paying for your claim. Don't forget, you know your car way better than any insurance adjuster is going to know your car. So you need to make sure you're getting credit for that special speaker system or stereo system. You might have a spoiler or a certain sport package added to your car. It might be a navigation system. Or how about the trailer hitch or any other non-factory add-on? You want to make sure that adjuster is giving you value for these type of things. Now, the last point I'd like to make is a lot of our clients don't realize that they can get credit for recent repairs or improvements to the vehicle. So the way this works is to get the receipt for any car repair you did in recent history. Now, this is not going to be a dollar for dollar credit for, say, brand new tires on your car, but you will get some credit and every dollar helps. So for instance, you might have put new tires on your car. You might have replaced an alternator, a battery, or other type of timing belt, something like that. All those things cost a lot of money and it's not your fault that you had a car accident right after doing the repair. Get with the adjuster, make sure you're getting credit for these. Look, a lot of folks don't realize that insurance companies are for-profit companies. Here at Kirschbaum Injury Law, we don't want them to profit off of you. We have other accident injury videos that will help you with a lot of frequently asked questions at our website, www.kirschbaumjurylaw.com, and on our YouTube channel. If you've been injured in an accident that was not your fault, call us today to schedule your no-cost claim evaluation.